welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Vargas. And welcome. Welcome. About a week or so ago, I made an order from, I want to say Victoria's Secret, but really it was pink. I ordered from pink uh, because you guys kept saying, order from pink. They sell extra large. Okay, I will. So I did, and they do sell extra large. And, uh, you know, wait, do they? Yeah, they do, they must. Uh, pink does have extra large. Am I crazy, or do they have an XXL and some stuff as well? This is my usual everyday outfit right here. You're looking at her. My $5 bike shorts from uh, Forever 21. Although I am quite the bike short connoisseur, as you will see, I did pick up another pair from pink. I'm hoping that those will fit. <laughs> We'll see. Um, but I, the, man, the best ones, like the best ones ever, but the reason I don't mention them is because they're impossible to find, are these like wickedly soft ones that American Eagle has. Actually, I think it's Airy. Ugh. I'm ordering stuff from American Eagle too. I only picked up a couple things initially because I don't have a coupon code and I cannot bring myself to pay full price on American Eagle knowing four minutes later they're going to release like a 30% off coupon or something like that. So. I'm just kind of slowly building that one. But I didn't pick up a ton from Pink, just enough to kind of try out these XLs and see um, the difference because I do have stuff that's in a large and then I do have stuff that's in an extra large um, from Pink or from Victoria's Secret. They do tend to sell stuff that I feel like they do vanity sizing there, which basically means that it's, it's so that you can be vain, so that <laughs> you can um, be my size and feel good about fitting into a large. It's not like... It's just something that a lot of companies do, um, especially the ones that don't tend to expand their sizing beyond a large or an extra large. They really don't even delve into the plus size region at all, um, which is so stupid financially, you know, because <laughs> everybody's fat, girl. I don't know if you <laughs> looked around. <laughs> We're all not skinny. Let me put it that way, okay? There are plenty of skinny people, but there are so many people that would never classify themselves as thin, and that's who these people tend to cater to. So. Ethically speaking, are they my favorite brands? They're not. But you guys continue to want to see them. They release some cute crap. I'm susceptible to all of the things that everyone else is. I'm still a regular ass person. And I want to wear my little pink hoodie, okay? I don't care if I'm 31. You leave my age out of it. I will be wearing Forever 21 when I'm 40, if I feel like it. Okay, first things first. For the YouTube person that's reviewing the video, I won't even make you watch the whole thing. Go ahead and demonetize it right now, okay? Go ahead. So, um... I picked up some of their draws because for the most part, I mean, I can sneak into an oversized whatever, um, but they don't make oversized draws. I don't know if you were aware of that. Uh, they don't call them that. I, there must not be a market for it. So I picked up, let me adjust myself here. I just took my shorts off so you can see the line on my stomach. These are the bomb. These fit. These are great as far as seamless underwear go. Oh, Sarah, what a good idea wearing these today. I wear them every day. Not these ones, but some version of them. These I featured in my everyday favorites, along with those bike shorts and that shirt. So if you're wondering where I actually get my everyday stuff that I love, you can watch that video. Um, it was semi-recent, but I did pick up some seamless underwear because I love seamless underwear. And like I said, they come in an XL, so I wanted to go ahead and try them out. This is a seamless, is this the boy short? Maybe not. This is the hipster, so this is in a size XL and the ones I have on are from Spanx. They are the best. They are a thong so I'm not going to turn around for you. They're my absolute favorite when it comes to seamless underwear that are plus size friendly. So let's go ahead and put these ones on. Like I said they're a hipster so you know sure I get them up. They're fine. I, I could wear these. I do anticipate some rolling. There would definitely be some rolling like the bottom is rolling up and the top is rolling down. This is awful. These are terrible. These are making me feel bad about myself, so. Am I gonna wear them? No, I'm not. These don't fit. Surprise, surprise. I mean, I've tried the larges before. This is just not for me. This is clearly not, not doing me any favors. That's okay. Um, let's go on to the next one, see if those are any different. So I also got the ones with the little scalloped hem. These are not hipsters. If they are, I'm not gonna try them on. These are cheeksters. The different cuts actually do make a difference, you know? And some of them feel way better than other ones. Not the case. Same thing, you know, different pair of draws. 
Same story. These ones are cut a little bit higher. Oh yeah, I definitely have like a lot more cheek. Damn, these ones basically feel like a thong. They're like the same size as the thong I have on right now. Interesting. I mean, not around. They're definitely a little more snug. Are they doable? Yeah. If I was in a pinch and I needed some drawers, would I wear them? Sure. They're basically see-through though. The ones that I have on, this is not a very good material. The ones that I have on are thicker. <coughs> the ones that I have on are definitely thicker. They're definitely a really nice material, like the Spanx ones that I'm wearing. And they were on clearance or whatever. Last time when I posted that video and somebody was like, they're on clearance. And I was like, what? So I bought three more pairs. They are on clearance, though. I think they're still on clearance. Um, so I'm just saying, if you're looking for... <laughs> If you're looking for panties, <laughs> check Spanx because these are not working for me personally. And like I said, they are definitely on the thinner side. Um, these, the quality of these definitely is not as good as the quality of the ones that I'm wearing right now from Spanx, so I'll put it that way. Not that this is like a competition, but <laughs> if it was, they would lose. These are, these are the thong. Okay, we're, we're not even gonna put this on because I don't need these, you know, draws up my butt cheeks right now. That's not gonna work for me. Um, and then I bought this pair, which I thought was so cute. I love it. I wish I had, like, I feel like this is for a very specific type of body, which I feel like is like the more athletic looking sort of torso. Not athletic, but kind of just like the straighter torso with the like real bump in the hip and thigh and butt area, um, which I don't have. Mine is more of a gradual sort of like, okay, and let's get bigger. So <laughs> mine's a little bit different, but I feel like that is like the ideal body for um, these kind of underwear. I'm gonna go ahead and try them on. They're fine, they're okay. I wouldn't wanna wear them. I have too many better panty options. So do the panties fit? No, they don't. Let's get into uh, this stuff. So they do have lots of bike short options right now on um, pink and I love that. I think that's really awesome, right? I love this. I love when they do this on the butt. <laughs> Because hopefully my butt's gonna look real juicy when I put these on. Um, these are an XL. They are just they just say bike short on them. They do how much were these? Twenty four ninety five. That's not bad. Um, that's really that's not bad. If you recall, I did the Gymshark video and they. What a shocker! <laughs> okay, so for the Gymshark video, I had tried on their XLs, larges and extra larges. I think actually I forget. You can watch the video if you want. But I was shocked, shocked by how incredible some of that stuff looked on this body because I don't think it's made for this body. Damn, man. I mean, if it's stretchy, it fits, typically, right? I can get it on. Not the case with these. This is unfortunate. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but the crotch is still down here, like in between my thighs and my crotch is a solid few inches above that. So it's not going up my legs. I don't want to like rip it. The stretch is not great. <laughs> Look at where it landed. Oh no, I got droopy booty. <laughs> okay, not surprising the top fits because my top usually can can do XLs and stuff. Like, it doesn't typically uh, cause much of a problem up here. The top I feel like actually looks pretty good. Like, it feels good, it's not too tight. The band around is not too tight. Um, I think I'm about, I think when I measure this, it's 39-ish inches. Um, so if that's good for you to reference somehow, like right below my boobs. Um, it, it looks good, it feels good, I feel like, but these shorts are a hot, hot, hot mess. Um, yeah, it's no good, my thighs are rubbing together. These don't fit at all, but like I was saying, they do have a lot of bike short options. I was having trouble finding like the longer ones um, in stock, so clearly they're cycling through. Before I forget, I did buy a mask, and I'm actually gonna be ordering some more. I will insert the footage right now of my daughter wearing it. She ended up seeing it and liking it a lot. So my daughter really just took a liking to these ones. She likes that the um, the ears are adjustable. I really like it too. So I wore it um, first, I, well I tried it on, and then she ended up trying it on and absolutely loving it. So it's hers now. So I'm gonna be ordering some more of those, but I do really like those masks, they're about 10 bucks. I will say she's worn it probably three or four times now and um, I don't know if she's messing with the metal or what, but it has uh, snapped. So we'll probably be taking that piece out of, you know, like the bridge of the nose. Uh, but beyond that, those are really nice, cute little masks and they're very comfortable. They're not too, too thick. So that's what we look for with a mask. 2020 is still so weird. I did not anticipate talking about face mask haul. <laughs> I really could do a face mask haul though. I've got some Steve Madden masks. I got those for Jay. 
He loves them. We have the Adams mask, which are like my absolute favorite. Me and Lewis use those ones. Um, they didn't work out for the kids. We have, listen, don't get me started on that, okay? Stop. All right, we're gonna start layering some stuff on. I changed my shorts. These are the everyday bike shorts. And I would go so far as to say that these do actually fit. They're not uncomfortable in any way. They are slightly shorter than what I like to see in my bike shorts, but that's because, like I said, the other length options were much harder to find. Um, so I got them in this sort of like, sort of like this gray, um, what is it called when they do it? Oh, crap, I forget what it's called, but I'm gonna like focus on it. Cause, oh, oh, hi, hello thong. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that one. So now we have this um, tank as well, which I'm obviously just throwing on, on top of the, um, the sports roll again this is gonna fit the stuff like this is pretty much always gonna fit um me like if it doesn't involve my arms or my bottom half extra large large a lot of times i can do it and it works and it fits fine or whatever so um i got this in an xo i like it it's just obviously just a plain little tank i will say that i think their prices are better than i remember them i think these shorts were like 20 bucks obviously um stretch beyond capacity well i don't know i don't know if like you're not stretching it out if the bottom is not nearly as see-through but this is like i mean i can't even this is indecent okay that's too much for me now i'm really hoping this one's gonna work out this is in an xl this is original price 46.95 and it is just a nice soft hoodie hoodie season is upon us i am a hoodie connoisseur okay they are not all made the same and i know what to expect and i know that when i'm ordering something you know where people are just making it on like a gilded hoodie i know what size i gotta order i know which ones are like so soft it's worth the extra ten dollars like oh my gosh adidas hoodies don't get me started on adidas hoodies they are not made the same literally could do an entire video on adidas hoodies the best to the worst and um i'm i'm just a big hoodie gal and so i do really like these hoodies because they are very very soft but well no let me not say but yet because this is probably going to be great no i'm gonna say but guys the best place to get a super 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 soft hoodie right they're they are oversized so like don't be discouraged when i tell you where um they are oversized and they are just so soft and the quality is so good it lasts so long okay they're from abercrombie go on the abercrombie website or i'll link it below if i can i just got a new one for this season just to make sure they still had them and it's the ones where the word abercrombie and then the word fitch is like printed across the whole thing and in the center it almost looks like it says zombie because it says rombie okay those are some serious hoodies they're so soft they're so oversized they're so they're so good and the different colorways are always super cute and then they have them for um like for guys too so you know if i want to get matchy matchy with the boy then we do this is it here she is yes this works out i would say this one is actually slightly a slightly more snug around the belly than the arbor than the abercrombie one but anyway still good nice and oversized it's an xl um 46 dollars you know you can kind of come to buy something like that from pink um i do see a lot of little fuzzies kind of floating into the air right now so i don't know if it'll stay as soft as it is um i have experience with pink hoodies but not with the super soft ones the other ones were never like really soft material but pretty warm i like the opening up here. oh my god i hit myself in the eye <laughs> i like the opening up here um i I like to show a little bit of my neck, if anything, just because I get uncomfortable when there's too much up here. Um, it's cute. I mean, it's cute. I like the the uh, the black like drawstring on it. It's nice. I like it. I mean, it's a hoodie. It is what it is. But does it fit? Yes, it does. Guys, look what came. How exciting. They're so pretty. Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> they smell so good, too. And I really thought I was not going to like the matcha one because I don't like matcha anything, but okay i love it this is um jack anna's new brand it's sick i got some other stuff too but anyway just thought i'd show off a little bit because they're so cute okay guys i just had a whole moment on instagram and i just recorded this but it wasn't on oh i forgot what i said so let's start over oh <laughs> we
we love an inconsistent brand. That's what I was getting at, actually. So take a look at these. And then I came back here and I complimented myself on the camera angle. Good job, sir. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so they go all the way down to the angle, like a traditional sort of legging. And then if you decide to turn it all around, uh, it is still... Oh, this looks so good, though. Like, whoever put this band down here, my whole my butt looks like... Like, it's really... It really came to shine today, so... Loving that, but um, as you can see, very see-through, so uh, people will see your draws, or you can wear full coverage underwear that are in a fleshy tone, and what that will do is it will help disguise the fact that they're looking at your ass versus looking at just what would look like an opaque piece of fabric, so long as the draws that you're wearing match this color of your skin it's a lot to go through or just wear a really high thong and then again you can't see that there's underwear there I mean but do you work out in a thong I don't know I don't know your life I don't ask you enough questions about your panty choice apparently but it is on the thinner side probably because I'm stretching it out more but I will say that they feel like pretty much any other legging to me it doesn't feel like I'm overdoing it, it doesn't feel like you know I don't feel like a sausage in a casing right now so they fit really nicely um, I like the rise on them it is a higher rise slightly above where my natural kind of like uh, waist is right here um, very comfortable no pockets or anything none of that fancy jazz uh, but I do really like the colors I like the way that they kind of you know it has Gymshark vibes to it I will say I probably still prefer the Gymshark stuff um, but I don't work out so I don't really care uh, this top I love like I said I always get down with like these tops like they just they look so good and they work so well so this is so cute this is obviously a coordinating set they have a ton of coordinating sets a ton of them um, and you can coordinate down to you know the shirt the uh, sports bra this is still that original sports bra you can do this I guess without a sports bra even the ones from Gymshark I did without the sports bra underneath and it still looked really good this one I don't think I would feel as secure um as far as like my chest being secure without a sports bra underneath but overall it fits really nicely like my arms feel good everything feels good this is a good look i think <laughs> a good fit as far as i'm concerned but obviously you can see like my whole butt cheek through these leggings but they make my butt look good and i like that uh price wise i think the pants are in the 40s and then I think the shirt was, I don't know how much shirt was. It will all be linked down below. We have one more outfit for you. Hey, Mr. DJ. Okay, so these pantaloons. A little snug. A little snug as a bug. Seeing a lot of belly right now. I don't know about you, but I do not like to feel like something is squeezing me when I have sweatpants on. So these go all the way down to the bottom. Oh, this is this is the best way to tell that my pants are too small. If you see this much of my lower back, no. And oh my gosh, the amount of arguments that I have about this being my lower back versus being my butt. I see my butt is here. Here and below is butt. I got six inches of butt. Um, but that's a, that's a whole different video topic there. Anyway, the pant is, yeah, can I get it on? Of course. Is it okay? Sure. Um, it says pink down the leg. This is the classic pant or the campus pant. I forget what it's called. It's a stretch. It's a stretch. It literally it's stretching. It's like it's a stretch to get this one on. It does have a functional drawstring on it, um, but it's really not for me. If you want a really comfortable, cozy kind of pant like this, and you know you're looking to be like that gal, I would say to check out Airy again. Um, Airy has more oversized sweatpants and they go up to, do they go up to an XXL? If they don't, their pants just run much bigger um, because I'm like swimming in some of their sweats. I will say that they pill heavily uh, between the legs though. So I don't know, keep a little eyebrow razor nearby or something or just live with it. Um, and then as far as the top to this one goes, it is a zip up hoodie. I hate, I don't know, maybe I'm alone here. I hate that zip up hoodies especially are always a little shorter. Why do they do that? Like why, let me decide if I wanna put it over my butt or you know, pull it down and hide my butt crack back there. Let me make that decision. Their hoodie is a regular length, it's fine, it's solid. But their zip up hoodies are always a little bit shorter and then the bottom like hem 
always a little um, a little more snug so overall could I get it on would it fit does it fit my arms sure but the fit of it is not like what I'm looking for could I make this outfit work and you know what I feel okay in it sure but I could feel better in something else so um, it is really nice and soft though I would say still not quite the same as that other hoodie though that one far superior again though they have this stuff in all kinds of different colors um, but you know as far as their XLs go it's still not gonna quite work for me for the most part um, I think that if they were to push themselves a little bit to XXL and not even you know dive into plus just XXL or just offer a little bit more oversized stuff which is really like here here take what take what we're offering you we've got oversized hoodies get the large fits like a 2x you know what I'm saying like if they could do a little bit more of that then I could probably have some more options we could probably have some more options um but overall I would say this is a fail because <laughs> I don't feel great in it um but how about those gym clothes like I did not anticipate that with the leggings on the top what and then with that hoodie that was a solid hoodie those shorts <sighs> little see-through but anyway um that's all I have for you guys today though like I said oh that mask was solid though I wish I could have showed it to you in person but Nala has it. So uh, that's all I got for you. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Like I said, I am doing some more fall themed orders from like American Eagle, maybe Hollister, uh, and maybe I'll t toss in like those couple of Abercrombie and Fitch things. I'm not a huge like shopper there, but there are certain, certain things that I do really like from them. Um, so hope that you enjoyed it. I'll have the links for everything down below. I will do my absolute best down there. If you missed this ugly mug and you want to check it out more, don't forget I have a vlog channel and I post there way more than I post here. So get into it.